So imagine you would like to define your own functions. So let's, let's talk about user user defined functions. Yeah, so how do we do that? So imagine you would like to create your example, for example, and we would like to create our own own average function. So our own average function as an example. So let's call this call this function my average and um, so we would like to put in a vector with a couple of numbers we would like to average and then the return value should be obviously our average And so, so the way of um, creating something like the my average in MATLAB is very, very simple. So we just create an M file with the same name. So what we do as a recipe is, so we create an M file, an M file with the same name as the as a function. And then in within the M file, so in the M file, create create a function with the same name, with the same. It's getting a bit crowded here. With the same name. Okay, so after this theory, let's just do that in MATLAB. So let's create a average function here. So for this, we we um, use our edit command and and open a new text window. So my average dot m. So MATLAB is asking if I would like to create this m file here. What I now do. So now we've got the empty text editor here and um, now what I do is I define a function in here function r equals my average dot y so what this what this means here is that this is my function name and this is my input variable so let's see so just now it is um, complaining here is not used, but we are fixing this quite soon. And R is our return variable. So let's create an average function now. So we um, we're using again our for loop, uh, our for loop for this, just to have a bit of practice with the for loop. So that's our accumulator, and then then we just run a loop from one to. And now we need to use the length command because we don't know how many elements are in there in this y array and then we're just adding this this up and then we just we just close the loop with our end command you see matlab is formatting this already quite nicely and so now remember the r here is our return value and so we just um, write r equals average and then divide this by the number of elements in y so Let's let's save this here. So if I if I haven't done any any mistakes, so we can basically now use this function here. So if we say my average, and let's create an array. The same we had something where we know what the result is and test if this is calculating this. And we see that's my average is now calculating the average of this array here and so we have um, basically in this text window here where's our text editor there so when I type in my average this is executed here with this with these three values and then R returns the average here and uh, we're getting the answer here of 12 simple as that